Yeah, we want to continue the conversation because Julian Van Leon has been writing a couple of stories about climate change, specifically uh, a couple of specific topics. Yeah, interesting. The first one we're going to talk about is air quality. Yeah. And this really surprised me. The air quality around the nation is getting better, except for here in the Northwest, where it's getting worse. Yep. Um, why is I that? I guess break that down because that yes. does confuse me too. Okay, so everywhere across the country we're burning fuels more efficiently. We have better standards for our cars and for factories. So um, the levels of particulate matter, right. uh, which I've talked about on this, bef on this show before, right? So very small particles um, that are emitted from fireworks or cars or factories. Mm -hmm. So those levels are going down everywhere in the country. But in the Northwest, so basically from the Rockies all the way to the Cascades, um, because we're seeing an increase in wildfires and in oh. the amount of area burned by wildfires, yeah. the worst days are getting worse. And so even though there's this national trend of um, decreasing emissions and better air in the Northwest, um, the fires are contributing to make our air worse. Got it. Does the... I always think like weather terms, like the jet stream, right? We're so close to the mm -hmm. jet stream in the winter and we have those solid westerlies. Does it help in Seattle pushing the fire since it is to our east that way? So the city's okay? Does that make sense? Yeah, that does make sense. I'm not sure if that's the reason. I know this, um, what they call the Seattle-Portland corridor, mm -hmm. right? That area is actually not seeing the wildfire effect right. as much as um, the eastern, as the eastern mountain. side of the gotcha. state, okay. right? Is, because here, because there's there are so many more cars and there's so much more, um, there was so much more human pollution to begin with, that factor is outweighing any fire effect. Uh, is this okay. harmful okay. or how harmful are we talking yeah, about? Yeah, so these particles, because they're very, very small, like way smaller than a human hair, they can get really deep into your lungs. Um, and they can cause or exacerbate a whole lot of respiratory issues like asthma, bronchitis. Um, the good news is that uh, all of, there are a bunch of agencies that look at air quality, mostly looking at this particulate matter. Um, and you can go online to their websites and they have maps of all around the country, the air quality for today. Um, like updated in real right. time. So that's oh, cool. airnow.gov and it's okay. run by the EPA. Um, and so you can go and they'll say like, okay, this is, you know, if we're mm -hmm. at this level, if you're a young child, like keep your Stay young in. kids indoors. Got and it. then if you're at this level, um, like everyone should be concerned. Airnow.gov, okay. Yeah, and then since I still have you, sea levels, you know, we talk about the caps melting, are yeah. you seeing a rise in sea levels overall? Well, and let me just set this up, because sure. we were talking about the internet. I was like, wait a minute, what does sea levels have to do with internet? And yeah. then I was like, oh, the infrastructure. Right. Yeah. Yeah, tell us about that. Yeah, so that was really surprising to me. Like, when you send a text message or you're connected to the Wi-Fi, the si signal isn't really wireless, right? So everything is transmitted through fiber optic cables. and a lot of this infrastructure is built up around where people are because that's where the most data is going. So major cities and major cities on the coast have a lot of these fiber optic cables um, that are buried, mm -hmm. you know, pretty shallow in the ground. And this new study that came out this week uh, mm -hmm. actually said that there are 4,000 miles of fiber optic cable in the U.S. that could be um, could be threatened Hindered. by yeah, yeah. only one foot of sea level rise. Wow. So and we gotta move all those fiber optic cables. Yeah. <laughs> we gotta do something. Yeah. Yeah. Or, That's know, um reverse this trend. Yeah. You've got some really good stories on our website. You uh, if anybody's interested in reading more of what she's talking about, text you see on the screen, climate two oh six four four eight four 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 five we'll get you that information. But there's a whole lot of stories that you've been doing. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Julia Leon, thank you so much thank for you. joining yeah. us.